everyone, I'm Rose with Plitix. Welcome back to the Plitix Academy syndication course. In the previous lesson, we talked about syndicating data using product feed URLs. But what do you do when a platform you want to syndicate to doesn't allow for this option? Unfortunately, this is the case for many platforms, especially marketplaces. A couple of big names that work like this are Amazon and Walmart. These e-commerce giants don't accept feed URLs directly, but you can still use a feed to automate how you manage that data. The difference is, instead of copying and pasting the feed URL directly to the platform, you'll need to upload the feed file. So what's a feed file? In Plitix, the feed file refers to the physical file that represents the data in a feed URL. You can retrieve this by clicking on the feed URL generated by Plitix and then upload it to a platform that doesn't allow for feed URLs whenever you need to create products or make bulk changes to your listings. So what's the difference between using a file from a channel feed versus any other spreadsheet? Like we explained in previous lessons, using a PIM system like Plitix that has syndication features makes it so that you only need to update your product data in one place. In other words, you can use a feed file instead of manually updating a spreadsheet for just Amazon or Walmart. The information in that file will already have the latest data from your Plitix account formatted according to each sales channel's specific template. All that's left to do is import the file into the sales channel or marketplace. Let's take a closer look at how this would work. Imagine that you sell products on Amazon. We know that they only accept feed files, not feed URLs. Once you've processed a channel that matches Amazon's requirements, all you have to do is download the feed file by clicking on the feed URL, paste it into the original template provided by Amazon, and import that file into your Amazon Seller Central account. If you need a refresher on how to process a channel, we explained how to do this in lesson two of this course. Uploading a file to Amazon requires a few extra steps compared to other channels, but that's because the process of uploading product feed files will vary slightly from one sales channel to the next. Take Walmart, for example. Once you download your feed file, you can upload it directly into Walmart's seller portal. That's a step faster than Amazon. While importing feed files is a little slower than simply copying and pasting a feed URL, it is much faster and easier than filling out templates for each individual website, one field at a time. The best part is that once you've created a channel for any platform, you can instantly update that feed file with any new information you've added to your products by simply processing the channel. Clicking the same link generates the newest version of that file with all the most recent changes you've made in your Plitix account. So now we've covered two of the three options you have for product data syndication. Now, the last method of syndication we'll cover involves the use of API, but that doesn't mean you need to have programming knowledge in order to share your products. Find out how a direct integration could work for your business in our next lesson. And if you're enjoying this course, let us know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more lessons, courses, and other content related to e-commerce and product listing optimization. See you in the next lesson.